you are going to give an external benefit to the existing insurance. You need to be informed of any insurance policy changes. So as you renew the policy next time, the endorsement rider will also get renewed. That endorsement will be given as an additional document and it will be occupied. Good morning and welcome to the session 3 in unit 4 in principles and practice of general insurance where we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic called as the endorsements. Now what is exactly an endorsement? Now an insurance endorsement or a rider is an amendment to the existing insurance contract that changes the terms of the original policy. Now, which means to say that you are going to give an add-on, you are going to give an external benefit to the existing insurance. That's where the endorsement or a rider comes into picture. Now, this can be of any type. It might be about a health benefit rider or it might be for a property or it might be for some extra coverage. So, this is kind of an external benefit that is going to be provided depending on the type of the insurance. Now, an endorsement rider rider can be issued at the time of purchase, midterm or at the renewal. Insurance premium may be affected and adjusted as a result. So when is that we can give an endorsement premium or we know an endorsement factor whenever we want. It might be in the beginning, it might be in the middle or it might be in the end also. What we are interested here is that Based on the riders that are being given to you, the insurance premium will automatically be increased or decreased. Now that has to be adjusted over a given period of time. So on the whole, the endorsement itself is something like an extra benefit that you need to understand. Now the benefit will always come with a cost so it is not every time the insurance company is going to give you something free just because you are an existing customer but rather you need to understand endorsement is always something that a customer has asked for depending on the factors of the insuring company. Now how does this endorsement actually come with? One, it provides you an additional coverage. So an endorsement that adds or includes coverage otherwise might be excluded. Now, for example, I want an additional coverage in terms of some disease or for some kind of health issue that can be added on to my existing insurance. Now, that would have not been existing in the normal condition when I first went in for that insurance. So when the first proposal was drawn in this additional coverage was not available at all but today I have asked for the additional coverage. Now exclusions some endorsements may exclude coverage of certain types of claims. Now I believe that I don't want these kind of coverage factors at all. So let me exclude myself from all this activity. So I can also go in for an endorsement where I don't have to ask for an extra coverage. Please remove all the extra coverage that is already there in this. I just want to focus myself only to a specific kind of factor or a specific kind of insurance. So exclusion is something where you remove the extra factors out of the existing insurance. Next one, modification of a coverage. Now there is a coverage available which the company is ready to give to you but you are not happy with the way the coverage is designed. So you can go back to the insurance company and say that I want certain modifications, certain tailor-made specifications to suit my need, to suit my requirements. So that is where we say modification of the coverage followed by how to protect yourself. This is very, very important when we talk about endorsement. The first thing is that you need to be informed of any insurance policy changes. And that is why we say that communication between the insurance company and the insurer is very, very important. An endorsement can vary depending on the insurance company and the type of insurance that has been stated. 
the moment a company wants to make changes based on the risk factors based on the existing profile based on the conditions the first thing the insurance company will do is try to communicate to the insurance holder and tell him that this is the endorsement that is available to you on a regular basis now what will happen here is that moment the customer understands the policy and the endorsement factor that is coming into picture the company will automatically say that okay this is the new coverage that we are going to provide are you comfortable with it which means there will be a new policy document amended with the endorsement factor and sent to you that means you will be getting through your agent or a representative selling you that this is the new endorsement package this is what we are going to do this is how the system is going to build all those factors will be told to you regarding the changes which uh, now the most important factor that we need to understand is that whenever changes are going to be mentioned in your policy you need to know them clearly you need to know how exactly these factors have come inside and how these factors mean to you so this is very very important at any given point of time that what is that we are going to do in terms of your insurance in terms of the values that has been told so whenever you are going to get an endorsement or a rider that is going to be attached to you please be very very sure about the factor that the terms conditions to what it has been added to what has been the original policy amended to what rules and regulations are we talking all those factors have to be clear cut in your mind so that is why i say that please be informed up to yourself regarding the changes that has been told by the insurance company moving further educate yourself on how the endorsement works towards your belongings now for example you have a fine jewelry or you have a vintage necklace that you want to protect and you might consider that you want to have a protection for it you want to have an endorsement for it now what happens is that people think that home insurance itself will be able to cover that but that might not cover the jewelry so here what you need to know is that i want an insurance cover exclusive for that necklace now there are so many times let's say that you want to insure an art a painting a car a vintage collection stamp a coin all these kind of things are not a part of the regular insurance so you cannot just go blindly and say that yes this insurance is there and we have covered it that will not be understood or that will not be accepted at all what we will tend to do or what we will tend to understand here is that we will first try to connect we will first try to say that this is the factor under which we are working so what we want to do here is that exclusively whatever we want to take it under the insurance cover package you need to apply for an endorsement for that it needs to be specific now when i say that that specific factor it means for the necklace for the stamp for an x for a y whatever that factor that you are taking you need to take a separate protection and this has to be clearly communicated by the insurance company and the insurer that this is the amount of limit that we are providing you as a coverage so that is why we say that insurance is always a subject matter of self knowledge you should know exactly for what you are insured for how much amount you are insured and how you have taken up that insurance cover where it works and for what amount it works moving further we would also try to make you understand the three things that you need to remember in terms of the endorsement now the first thing is that the endorsement or a rider alters the policy and becomes a part of your legal insurance agreement and it remains in force until the contract expires there would be an exception 
if the endorsement rider has a specific or a limited term to what it is considered to be valid, it may renew under the same terms and conditions of your policy. Now, what we try to make you understand is that moment you get an endorsement or a rider attached to your new policy, that policy would continue to be in force. That means the policy remains exactly this way until the contract expires, until the policy expires altogether. Now, there might be certain times an exception, all of a thing that erupts saying that, sir, will it continue lifelong or will it get expired even before? So, based on the terms and conditions that have been told here, the policy would be taken into account. So, as you renew the policy next time, the endorsement rider will also get renewed. So, whenever an endorsement is being provided to a customer, it will automatically change the old policy and a new policy document will be issued to you. Going for further, the new policy document is what you need to consider and not the old policy. The new policy will have all the riders, all the benefits that have been explained to you by the company. The next thing, always keep a copy of the new document after making the policy change that shows the specifics of the new endorsement. So you need to carry a copy of the new document where it says that these are the changes, these are the new benefits that have been made accordingly. Now please do not go with the factor that the company has already changed, they have sent me a mobile statement or they have sent me an e-statement, that's more than enough for me. Please don't be in that kind of a mindset. Rather, please be proactive in taking Taking a hard copy of that statement and keep it with yourself so that in the case of any claims, in the case of going back for changes, in the case of any notifications or any kind of work, you can always show the document and say that this is what has been told. Now, when an endorsement reduces or increases, now let me underline that point, that can have an impact on your premium. That's a very, very important thing. When I started to take an insurance, I might be paying 5,000 rupees a month as a premium here. But because of the endorsement, it might have increased to 7,000 one way or it might have decreased to 4,000 other way. So the premium might be decreasing or increasing based on the endorsement coverage. So one should not get surprised all of a sudden. So from the next month, they have started charging me higher premium. Yes, it is possible because I have given you an endorsement, because I have given you a coverage altogether. So that is why I would always say to the people that please keep in touch with your company, with your agent saying that whatever changes have been bought, that changes will be automatically notified and I have to keep moving with it. The next thing is that what are the key points that we have to remember? An insurance endorsement is an amendment or addition to the existing insurance. It is not a complete change that the policy itself has got renewed. It has completely changed. No, it is only an amendment. It's an extra addition that we are talking in scope of the original policy. Always keep in mind with respect to the original policy, we have changed it. Now, this can be issued during the policy term at the time of purchase or during the midterm and it can be renewed at any point of time. There will be an addition or subtraction in your premium because it depends purely in what way have they given you the endorsement factor altogether. The next thing, endorsements will remain in force until your policy expires. Very, very clear in your mind. And the same thing will continue as long as you are doing it till the rest of your policy. So you don't have to worry when the policy gets renewed, the endorsement will also get renewed with it. So that is why it is very, very important. Endorsements can replace current policy or additional documents will be supplied in support to that policy. So that also have to be 
kept in your mind. That endorsement will be given as an additional document and it will be occupied. They will cover a range of situations including the risk insured of the policy, the changing address, additional coverage, whatever factors that have been told here, all those additional factors will be understood and will be added up to your condition. So these are all the factors that you have to keep in your mind before you go in for your endorsement. With this, I come to the end of this session. I hope and believe that this session was of a great use and of a great resource to you. In the upcoming session, we will be talking more about the insurance practices. Until then, stay blessed, stay tuned and stay enlightened forever. Thank you once again for joining me today on this wonderful session.